Hi, this is Bree Kirsch, the university librarian again. Um, I was asked by IT to create a video showing how to use Zoom within Brightspace, so I'm happy to do that. So when you're in your, one of your courses, right now I'm on the content page, you can go under communication and then go down to Zoom. And once you have your Zoom account set up within Brightspace, you can see this is my Zoom information here. I, if I click on previous meetings, it will show meetings that I've already had with students. If I click on personal meeting room, this is the same URL that I showed in the other video, my personal Zoom room, which you can copy and paste into emails. So for example, you can copy the invitation, and this actually has a full invitation, so if students want to use their cell phones to access it, they can do so. You can also go to cloud recording. So if you recorded your Zoom sessions, they will appear here. And then if I want, I can schedule a new meeting for this course. And you can see here's my course topic. I can put in a, an optional description. And then I can actually schedule the Zoom session for a specific date and time. And then I can put how long I want it to be and then my time zone and then I can say if I want this to be a reoccurring meeting or not so for example if you want to try to meet with your students synchronously when the course used to meet you can try to have this be a reoccurring meeting you can also have students required to register for this zoom meeting if you want to and then you can also have an option for having your video on or off as the host or the participants. And then you can allow audio to be done through both telephone and computer audio or just computer audio. There are also additional meeting options, so you can require a meeting password if you want to. You can also do other options here, for example, muting participants upon entry. And again, I usually use my personal meeting ID because then it's consistent. And you can also enable a waiting room. For example, if students arrive early before you, you can allow them to join before you or you can enable a waiting room. And then you can also record the meeting automatically on your local computer. So if you plan on recording your sessions, make sure you check that box and then you can click save. And once it's saved, you can see that it has been scheduled. You can add it to your Outlook calendar if you want to. And then just make sure you remind your students via email to attend the Zoom meeting. So I hope that helps. You can see that under upcoming meetings now, I have the one that I just scheduled. And then if I decide I didn't want to hold it, I can just click delete if I want to. So I hope that helps using Zoom within Brightspace. Um, hopefully that answers your questions. So if you're a faculty member, feel free to use Zoom within Brightspace. 